Hello everyone, welcome to Lifeway Kids Church. I'm Pastor Christine and I'm so glad you're here. It's so true, I think Christmas is my favorite time of year. I love all of the Christmas music, the lights, trees, treats, and presents. This time of year is so much fun. It's a great time to celebrate. This whole month, we've been celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Now let's all stand up and get ready to sing and worship God together. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven. My name is Jacob, and if nobody said it to you yet, let me be the first to say Merry Christmas! Joy to the world, the Lord has come. We all know what Christmas is about, right? It's about Christmas pie! Or Christmas is actually about a big guy in a red suit. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Christmas is about watching movies. Ah! Truth is, Christmas is about a lot of things, but there is one thing that makes this whole season worth celebrating. You know what I'm talking about. It's the presents! Let's see what we got this week. Oh. This little baby is what all the fuss is about. This is Christmas. Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. You'd think that a gift from God would come in a larger package, not just a baby. There's gotta be more to it than just that. You're right. There's a lot more to it. 
And it all starts in Bethlehem. I'll see you later. Brandon, grab some swim trunks and meet me outside for some fun in the sun. Oh boy. <sighs> oh, hey Brandon. Come on over here, I just threw some hot dogs on the g grill. John, what are you doing? Well. We've been cooped up inside for so long, I thought we might as well come out here and take advantage of the beautiful weather. It's like 12 degrees. Temperature is a construct. Okay, seriously, John, what is your plan here? Yeah, you've not... heard of Christmas in July, right? Well, I wanted to do July and Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense. Pour yourself some lemonade. <laughs> All right. It's frozen. Uh, yeah, it's summer. It's frozen lemonade. You're the one who's gonna be frozen if you don't get out of here. Come on. <laughs> All right, let, let me get you a coat at least, okay? Here you go, buddy. I feel great. You're strong, Brandon. You work out. I warned you. Hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And welcome to The So-and-So Show. Hey, Christmas Day is just a few days away, and we wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas from all of us here at the show. Hey, John, what's one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Uh, the lighting of the Yule Log. Really? Mm -hmm. That didn't turn out so well for you last year. <sighs> what are you doing, oh. John? Hey, Brandon, uh, hey. Longbeard Carl cut this limb down and I thought I'd use it for the annual Yule Log. <laughs> oh. You don't have a fireplace. <laughs> fireplace. Oh, hey. Hey, Brandon, hold on what? a second. Uh, hey, Brandon, there's a squirrel back here. What is your whole family? Hey, cute little squirrel family. How you doing there in the tree? Hey, hey, you. No, no. No, stay back. No. Oh, no! Oh! No! 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 It burns! Oh, get it off! Get it off! It's on my eyes! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about that. <clears throat> Squirrel, where? One of my favorite Christmas traditions is the Christmas card, but we decided this year we were gonna do living Christmas cards, so. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah. Oh, here's one from Longbeard Carl. Oh, Longbeard Carl. Oh, this should be interesting. And it should be fun. <laughs> Festive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Uh, okay. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one from the So and So Show player. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. So moving. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, you know, uh, another one of my favorite things to do at Christmas is to reach out to the people I love and tell them I am thankful for them. All right, let's call some people. Okay. Me, you want yeah, me to do pull it? up my contact list, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Got it. And just scroll through it. Oh, I see what we're doing. Okay. Hey, I'm having trouble putting this on my face. You got it? Scrolling. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Scrolling. Yeah. Okay, scrolling. and stop. 
Great, you are now calling a random person. Okay, oh no. What? Hello? It's Sugar Tilt a Whirl. The cotton candy lady? Yes. Yikes. Hello, Sugar. Wow. If it isn't Brandon and the one with the hat. It's John. I know. <laughs> uh, are you still in the cotton candy business, Sugar? You ever been to a carnival in December? I haven't. Eat a lot of cotton candy around the Yule Log, do ya? No, but I, I thought- Business maybe... is slow is what I'm saying. We're so sorry. What are you sorry for? It's not your business. Your business is sitting there and talking. You can do that year round. Oh, okay, well, I just wanted to I've say- I launched a new business for Christmas. Uh, what is your business? Everyone loves singing telegrams, right? Sure they do. <laughs> no, they don't, John. Everyone hates singing telegrams. They're obnoxious and invasive. Okay. So I came up with a new kind of telegram just in time for the holidays. Wanna buy one? Uh, sure, I'll take one. That'll be $12.99. I accept Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, Ethereum. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, all right, there. Thanks. Come in. Thank you for your purchase of Sugar Tilt a Whirl Screaming Yellowgram. Why sing when you can yell? Dear Brandon and the other one, I hope your Christmas is filled with good tidings and silent nights. Stop. I hope you get everything you wished for. Unless you wish for cotton candy, because I'm not doing that right now. We talked about this. Stop. Happy Christmas to you both. You are the only friends I have. Stop. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Huh? Uh, but here's something we should all expect. Huh? It's Bible story time with Kellen! Stop. What is up, good people? Just getting our Christmas cheer on. I like it. Hey, Kellen, what's one of your favorite Christmas traditions? Oh, I am a huge fan of giving gifts. Oh, I love getting gifts. I think he said giving. Right. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love getting a good gift, but there's really something special about finding that unexpected surprise to give someone you love. It's really cool. I also love telling today's Bible story every year. So let's take a look at the book of Luke and the unexpected surprise that God gave to the world. Lights? It happened like this. Caesar Augustus made a law, a decree, a census would be taken, which meant everyone in the Roman world would be counted. Hear ye, hear ye, I, Caesar, declare, no, I decree, everyone in the Roman world is to be counted. You must return to your hometown to be listed, and so it has been said, and so it will be so. Joseph was engaged to Mary, who was pregnant and about to give birth. When he heard the emperor's decree, he knew he had to travel to his hometown. And so, Joseph and Mary began their journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. The journey probably took them several days. So think about that next time you want to complain about driving a few hours to visit your grandparents. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, there was no place for them to stay. Hey, we need a place to stay for the night. Sorry, guest rooms are all full. Please, Mary is about to have a baby. Isn't there anything you can do? Not unless you want to sleep over there. We'll take it. So Mary and Joseph stayed near the animals, in a cave or a stable of some kind. While they were there, Mary gave birth to a baby boy. There was no bed, so Mary wrapped the baby in large strips of cloth and placed him in the manger. The manger was a feeding trough for animals. The baby, of course, would be called Jesus, 
and he was the son of God, and he would one day become the savior of the world, a very humble and unexpected gift on that first Christmas, the best present any of us could ever ask for. And that is the Christmas story. Wow. Yeah, that was great, <laughs> right? I love this story. There's so much going on at Christmas, getting gifts and going to parties, seeing family and friends, Christmas movies, all the really good things. But the Christmas story reminds us that God loves us so much that he sent his son for us. And that's what Christmas is all about. Merry Christmas, Kellen. Merry Christmas, fellas. See you later. Later. I love that Christmas all started with a gift, God's gift of his son to the world. Hey, maybe that's why we give gifts for Christmas, to remind everyone of that very first gift. I think you're right, John. Ah. So, reveal the question. What are you giving this Christmas? Yeah, we love to talk about what we're getting for Christmas, but what are you giving? You can give someone your time. You can give someone something unexpected. Mm-hmm. Herb-crusted goat cheese. Uh -huh. Were you expecting it? No, I was not. Mmm. Huh. Mm-hmm. You can give someone your love with your actions, your words, and that can point people to God who loved them so much he sent us his son. Yeah. Talk about it with each other. And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Merry Christmas! Christmas. You want a bite? I don't. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun no. it no. is to ride oh, a no, no, no. open sleigh! Stop. Jingle bells, jingle bells, oh, fun, jingle all the Do you want to know what Christmas is really about? Ho, ho, ho! No! Christmas is about love. Around 2,000 years ago, God saw that the world needed help, and he loved the world so much that he sent this baby. But he is way more than just a baby. You see, Jesus would grow up and live a perfect life, and even though he didn't deserve it, out of love, he would die on a cross to pay for the sins of the world. and that was just the help we needed. That was just the love we needed. Jesus made it possible for us to have a relationship with God. Jesus saved us. So, while you're celebrating this year, while you're singing and eating pie and opening presents, don't forget this present that God gave to us. Don't forget this one thing. God loved us so much that he gave us a savior. So, you know what? It's Christmas. Let's have the biggest party ever! Who's with me? Yeah! Let's party! It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Yeah! We're going shopping for that Christmas pie! Ooh, I need that! I need this! I need Christmas spring! In the most unexpected place, at the most unexpected time, God has shown his love. He sent his very own son, as a baby, to rescue the whole world. God loved us so much that he gave us a savior. He gave us what we needed most. He gave us the greatest gift in the history of the world. He gave his son. If we believe and put our faith in Jesus, we can have a relationship with God that will last forever. Let's pray and thank God for his amazing gift. Dear God, thank you for loving each and every person. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son to be our savior. As we celebrate Christmas with our friends and with our family, please help us remember the true meaning of this special season. Thank you for Jesus. He really is the greatest gift that the world has ever known. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 
All right, guys, have a great week. See you next week.